A seer who served, a saint who had dedicated his life for the distressed, a human being who lived for others and loved others as a devotee showers his love on his chosen deity. His services to mankind knew no bounds. Most revered Srimad Swami Atmasthanandaji Maharaj was the embodiment of love and kindness himself. 2020 marks the year of the completion of his birth centenary. Today we focus on the melodious memories and auspicious time he had spent in Mayavati Advaita Ashrama as a newly ordained novice of the Ramakrishna order. But at first let us have a look at his blissful monastic journey. Satya Krishna Bhattacharya as Maharaj was named in his pre-monastic life, was born on 21st May 1919 on the auspicious Buddha Purnima Tithi. His ancestral home was in Sabajput near Dhaka, now Bangladesh. Having completed his schooling in Dinajpur, he came to Kolkata and was admitted in Scottish Church College. He completed his BA from Presidency College in Philosophy in the year 1938. He also stayed in the Calcutta Students Home for a brief period of time as an inmate which in turn shaped his future life. Most revered Swami Vigyananandaji, then President of Ramakrishna Order, gave him Mantra Diksha on 12th January 1938. Satya Krishna had the blessing of Swami Akhandanandaji Maharaj, another monastic disciple of Sri Ramakrishna, during his early days when he had a chance of playing marble with Rivyard Maharaj. He joined Ramakrishna Mission on 3rd January 1941 at Deoghar. Most revered Swami Virajanandaji Maharaj initiated him into Brahmacharya vows in 1945 and later gave him sannyasa diksha in 1949. Brahmachari Shanti Chaitanya was his Brahmacharya name while he was named Swami Atmasthananda after receiving the monastic vow. Swami Atmasthananda then went to Kasar Devi in Almora, Dehradun, Vrindavan with revered Jagadananda Ji Maharaj a disciple of Holy Mother in 1951. Swami Atmasthananda was posted to Ranchi TB Sanatorium as its Assistant Secretary in 1952. He was sent to Rangoon Ramakrishna Mission to take charge of the center and also the charitable hospital Rainvarida Ashram. On 6th March 1966, Swami Atmasthananda took over the charge from revered Swami Bhuteshanandaji Maharaj at Ramakrishna Mission Rajkot in Gujarat. He planned to build a grand temple at Rajkot Ashrama. The foundation stone of the new temple was laid by then 10th President, most revered Swami Vireshwaranandaji Maharaj on 16th August 1971. Swami Atmasthananda became one of the trustees of Ramakrishna Mott and Ramakrishna Mission in 1973. He started extensive relief activities during his time 1977 to 1979. Swami Atmasthananda ji successfully conducted the devotees convention at Belu Mott in 1980. Then he became the General Secretary of the Ramakrishna Mott and Ramakrishna Mission on the Bengali New Year Day on 15th April 1992. On the auspicious Buddha Purnima Tithi on 22nd May 1997, most revered Swami Atmasthanandaji Maharaj became one of the Vice Presidents of the Ramakrishna Order. He started initiating the devotees since that time 
bringing solace to thousands of spiritual seekers. On 3rd December 2007, Swami Atmastanand Ji Maharaj was elected as the 15th President of the Ramakrishna Order. He shifted to the President's Quarter on 12th December 2007. On 2017 Sunday, 18 June at 5.30 PM, most revered Swami Atmastanand Ji Maharaj entered into Mahasamadhi. Revered Maharaj started his monastic journey at the abode of Advaita. He was posted in Advaita Ashrama Mayavati in the year 1941. He arrived at Mayavati on 21st June 1941 and stayed here up to 13th June 1944 as a monastic worker. Let's hear what revered Maharaj has to say about those cherished days at Mayavati Advaita Ashrama. When I was sent to Mayavati, he was the president. Povitan Goswami was a very fastidious man, very fastidious. Everything should be exactly to dot. <laughs> nothing helter skelter, nothing irregular. No, he couldn't tell that. He would shout, it cannot be, it cannot be. That was his way. It cannot be. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I never talked to him over the phone. I never got to see him. It cannot be, you didn't hear? No, not <laughs> It cannot be. I just talked to him over the phone a few times. He would make phone calls to inquire of Swami Vivi Dishananda But I never got to see him. Oh, oh, oh. Now, Pavitranandu Ji was a very rigid type of man, but very rigid but regular in everything. How much regular and how much participating in everything? Now, in Mayavati, during the forties, when I was there, there would be hardly one, two, three, four, five, six monastics. The, the, the publication center, the president controls, the editorial office, the dispensary, the kitchen, the garden, everything managed by these six persons. Now, I have seen Pavitananda Ji going uh, for picnic with us. He will lead us. He cooked also. And when we failed to make robbery, robbery I don't know, I know that is known in America, in India, that is from milk after uh, slow heat condensing gradually and fanning it, you know, uh, gradually it comes. Uh, so, when we all failed, and in Mayavati, in those days, you, you couldn't get anything. You do prepare yourself and eat. And the nearest point is four and a half miles to Lohaghat, which you have to walk down and you have to walk up. And there also you can't get things. That was Mayavati in, in, in those days. So suddenly this wave of uh, um, uh, appetite or thirst uh, or greed for Ravadi came to every mind. <laughs> and we all failed. So Pavitra Nandasamy said, I shall do it, you will see. So just at the back of the monk's quarter, there was a, a fire, and then he sat with the fan in hand. Oh, how painful! For hours together he was doing this and little, like this, like this. Uh, from morning he started and I think by afternoon he finished and had little robbery, so we had robbery also. And we used to go to do a picnic. Well, he will go, he will cook, or we shall cook, and he will, whatever it could be, he can sing some bhajan like that he could do. But in other matters, he was 
very, very rigid and it cannot be renewed. That if you want to do something irregular, it cannot be. No, impossible. He is to play volley also with us. Now, when I was there in Mayavati, something happened there. I could do anything and prepare to do anything. Even now I am prepared to do anything, but if you ask me to go and sit in the accounts office or, or law office, oh God, <laughs> that is something horrible. This legal department and this. Now, being the junior most, I was given the charge of accounting and cash and all that. <laughs> and after three or four months or six months, almost cut off, <laughs> two rupees short. <laughs> so hundred times I calculated and recalculated income and expenditure, no, two rupees short. And though it was a monastery of six, and there were some guests, uh, we, we had uh, particularly <laughs> one Parsi friend, our Pirosha Gandhi, T.J. Gandhi. He said, now he heard that two rupees short. He said, yes, I have lost two rupees. So this new brahmachari must be doing some mischief here. <laughs> so he started making propaganda amongst the monastery there, that uh, this fellow must be a thief. So it went on, went on, went on, and unfortunately for me, <laughs> the manager Swami, Shattu Maharaj, supported Piroj Bhai, uh, and didn't support me. <laughs> so it was so bitter <laughs> that then I thought, if this news go to my parents, what will happen? That I have stolen money. <laughs> so I was very morose, depressed, and then one day I went to Pavitrananda Shami, fell down at his feet prostrate, and said, Please, forgive me, I am already lost. So give me two rupees and save my life. <laughs> because my parents, when they will hear that I have stolen money, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, I don't know what is going to happen. He looked at me, he smiled, and then I started crying. So he started snubbing me. It cannot be. Why are you crying? You are not a thief. It cannot be. It cannot be. <laughs> it cannot be, but others have made it. <laughs> So finally I kept quiet. He said, you go back with the books, account books. I have to come back to my room. So after lunch, he was observing during lunch whether I was eating or not or how much I was eating. Then after watching everything in the afternoon, after rest, he sent for me, tell him to come with the cash book and ledger book and everything. I went there. So he said, you leave it here. I shall see. All right, I left it. So before evening, he sent for me. You fool! Here, here is the mistake. You don't, you, don't you see? These two rupees. <laughs> it is here. You have, you have just repeatedly you are missing to add to it. So he said, "Good God, <laughs> my life was saved." <laughs> and then at night during and the, and the, when, when the dining hall on the dinner table, so he made a full of me by pulling my legs in front of everybody, which indirectly, you know, had beaten the others hollow. At that time, the first editor of the Prabhupada that I had seen was a wonderful Swami. He was a Siloni Swami, Swami Bipulananda Ji Maharaj, whom we used to call uh, you know, popularly as Pandiji Maharaj. He was as black as charcoal, nothing short of that. And he was very careless about his dress. 
Sometimes his cloth may be here also. Though it is very cold, who knows what is what. He will hardly come to the uh, tea table or dining room on time. Many days he will not come at all. Strange. Even we have seen, uh, and, uh, and he, he, he was uh, a, a theoretical musician in Siloni's music. So in addition to his editorial work, sometimes he would be singing uh, in a Siloni's way and compose things uh, and he would put uh, tones and things. I remember one day we were in the dining hall in the, in the dinner table. Uh, that was the time when President was not there. So he was uh, sitting on the main chair and next to him was the manager Swami and then according to seniority we were sitting. Squatting, but there used to be a table. So when food is served and Brahmapanam already recited, we were eating. Panditji was doing like this, like this. And we were eating. Then suddenly, hmm, 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 started. So then, manager Swami Sattva Maharaj said, Panditji, this is dining table. What are you doing? Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. This kind of things, uh, wonderful Swamis, uh, you see, people are in the